Hey everybody, it's Happy So Curly, and today I'll continue my series of zodiac signs with the next zodiac sign, Taurus. Now, um, like I said last video, Although I am a spiritual person, I'm also a religious person, and I don't think you should judge or even create first impressions based off of someone's zodiac sign. So when you take in this information, just take it in as a reminder of how close you can get to people or being able to understand a different type of people. Not so much trying to categorize your friends or people that you feel as though is closed out because of course science and the way people are born also affect their personality. So you can't necessarily judge someone off of their zodiac sign but rather just create a template from that information. So without further ado. Let's get started. So the Taurus is a part of the earth element. Typically the earth signs are grounded and more practical and are closer to like what reality is. And sometimes it can come off quite harsh or cold um, or distant rather. Um, the other ones I believe that are their signs are um, Virgo and Capricorn, which we'll venture off later. Unlike the earlier fire sign, the, you know, the need to be first or need to be energetic and powerful is not so much the goal for earth signs and it's usually not the sign for the Taurus. Or at least the goal for the Taurus. The Taurus has pretty much a fixed character, so it goes in a fixed category. So I talked about the Aries being the cardinal category, which is the um, sign that pretty much starts the season off. So the fixed signs, um, which Taurus is under, um, pretty much just keeps the seasons going or keep that season going and you'll see that a lot in the explanation of how the Taurus is especially with the Taurus persistence so of course the animal that represents the Taurus is the bull and there's a story behind every like animal with the zodiac signs but I'll just but um, if you've seen the bull, you know that the bull is very persistent. It doesn't give up a fight so easily. It's also very, um, very, uh, I would say, stable in a way. I guess like in itself, it's very stable. Like it's capable of keeping a certain type of energy. So you don't see a lot of moodiness with Taurus or people who are the Taurus sign. Um, the color is usually green. Sometimes it's, they say pink or purple, but most of the times I hear about it being green. Um, which, you know, kind of makes sense. It starts the first um, earth sign. It's the first earth sign, so green. Just like Aries is red with the first fire sign. Um, the planet that it rules is Venus, which comes after um, Mercury. And the most compatible are usually Scorpion and Cancer. Um, and of course, the other Earth signs, which is the Virgo and the Capricorn. So, 
let's start with the weaknesses just because I want to end on a high note with the strengths so for weaknesses um, the Taurus kind of like the Aries very similar to the Aries in my opinion besides the the fire or the that type of drive is the stubbornness so the it can be very or a Taurus can be very stubborn but be on their own means like they usually people usually don't make them stubborn like they're just stubborn because um that's them because usually with the aries it's the temper people can attach their temper to make them stubborn but a taurus is just naturally stubborn they can be very possessive as well um which is why the scorpio in cancer is like a good compatibility or one of the greatest because Scorpios and Cancers are quite possessive of themselves and these are usually the signs that don't you know cheat in relationships or cheat their way into things or um, feel as though that they uh, don't have to have loyalty they're very loyal um, but it's still possessive it's still like a kind of a horrible quality <laughs> Um, and they're also very uncompromising. So, if you've ever tried to, I guess, reason with them, um, the position is still going to stand. That's why sometimes I consider myself a Taurus and an Aries because I'm very, very, very hard to, like, it's very hard to change my mind. <laughs> um, but that doesn't mean I'm not open to it. You know suggestions or beliefs and another weakness I would say is I would say just being very um, one-sided um, I guess that goes on with the uncompromising but just being very one-sided and and not being able to see the both sides which is why um, I believe the worst compatibility for a Taurus is a Libra because they're very they're not one sided pretty much okay now let's go into the strengths so like I said they're very 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 persistent um, in this is great like if you want them to plan something for you or gets a job done the Taurus is definitely for that um, and they're very reliable too so even with that them being um, persistent in their work they're reliable to finish it in the best way and they're also very patient so with this with that they're very patient and that actually fuels them to be reliable they're also really practical so they don't like to go above and beyond when they know it's gonna be a um, detrimental or it's gonna create a risk so they're very good at measuring out like what risks they need to take and what risks they don't need to take um, sometimes it can come off quite selfish but if you really get to know the Taurus you'll understand that their practical reasoning such as based off of like what they have experienced because of course they're very down to earth so they know more about reality than you think they know um they're very devoted so if you're trying to get a boo or a bae that's not gonna cheat on you <laughs> no i'm just playing you shouldn't judge somebody somebody's level of cheating based off of their zodiac sign that's a horrible idea but they're very devoted and very very responsible like unlike a lot of signs like they're very responsible and um they do give credit where credit is due um but like I, like again i just the Taurus is just very down to earth so they're not so much trying to be the best or trying to do the best just get things done and get it over with they're more so trying to get the get over the hump of society pretty much and like I said, they're very stable, so they're able to stabilize their own selves in any situation. So you shouldn't see like 
a Taurus that will, I mean, it doesn't really matter because people are always going to be different no matter what sign they are, but most Taurus are able to handle their anger, which is one of the biggest, 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 biggest differences between a Taurus and an Aries. And that's why I always think I'm like a mix because certain situations I know how and certain situations I don't. Okay, so let's go into like how to treat the Taurus or if you meet somebody that has this type of quality. So pretty much just make sure that you're available. Make sure that you are the type of friend to not judge them based off of like you might think that they're cold or they're very selfish i know a lot of people like to stereotype taurus saying that taurus care more about food than people <laughs> which is ridiculous because i know a lot of friends like with the sign that care a lot about people probably more than i do to be honest um and i think you just shouldn't, like I said, just don't judge them based off of the first thing that you see about them. Because they can really surprise you. Um, a lot of people like to say that a Taurus is boring or a lot of the earth signs are boring. But really, I actually think that they're just different. Like, they're just very um, to themselves. And it's crazy because, like, I consider myself an extrovert but like sometimes like I just I do want to be alone <laughs> or I, I do want to be to myself like I don't need like the fanciest stuff for a lot of things in my life and there's nothing wrong with that like there's nothing wrong with wanting good things in your life or wanting like the the flashy things in your life there's nothing wrong with that um but for the Taurus, just don't expect them to be extravagant or they might be extravagant in their own way and it might not be the way you like but you can't change them you'll never honestly ever change that type of personality a Taurus will never change and the more you try to do that the more that they you know go within themselves kind of similar to an Aquarius but like with an Aquarius it's kind of like based off of what other people do for the Taurus it's based off of how they perceive other people so just be more understanding of really all the signs but just be more understanding of the Taurus's personality and try not to expect too much excitement out of them because even though they're responsible and very reliable that doesn't mean that they're going to be your version of fun or your version of happy or sad like sometimes well most of the times like it's so stable that you feel like something's wrong with them but it's not true that's just how the Taurus is so um just keep that in mind okay so that's pretty much it for the Taurus um again like I said um don't judge these zodiac signs um, or don't judge people based off of their zodiac sign i honestly think it's just a it's a fun thing but at the same time i don't think you should take it serious if you're really gonna avoid like all capricorns or if you're gonna avoid all um aries like i just feel like it's very childish so just keep this in mind when you're talking to people or you get a feel and a view when you're trying to understand people based off of their zodiac sign just understand that people are different people grow up differently there's plenty of other factors that are going to contribute to someone's personality um it's been proven in science it's been proven in religion it's been proven in history so just keep that in mind okay so i'm just gonna finish off by whispering the strengths and weaknesses back at you or actually no I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read the strengths <laughs> okay so thank you guys for watching please subscribe and please comment I like making these videos and I just need more support and more people to see me and notice um, how much I bring to the ASMR community how much the ASMR community brings to me as well so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one